Deborah James began the process of acrimoniously divorcing her husband Sebastian Bowen, and they both even went on hideous Tinder dates with other people, but they reconciled one month before she was diagnosed with cancer. Deborah James recently said goodbye to her huge online following as she explained the sad news her bowel cancer was no longer treatable. She has been supported by her husband Sebastian Bowen. And the pair actually reconciled from a near divorce, shortly before her diagnosis. In 2015, Deborah and Sebastian made the decision to split up after walking down the aisle in 2008. They began divorce proceedings, which Deborah described as acrimonious. Both parties hired lawyers and even went on hideous Tinder dates with other people. But after embarking on some counseling sessions in a bid to make their breakup easier on their two children, Eloise and Hugo. Deborah and Sebastian realized they were still very much in love. They went for drinks and dinner together after their appointments, and eventually decided to make another go of things in November 2016, with Sebastian moving back into the family home. Tragically, Deborah would receive her bowel cancer diagnosis the following month. In 2018, the BBC podcast host wrote, Two kids, three house moves, ten job promotions, one career switch, many fab trips. Countless raging arguments, beautiful memories, family illness, one dog, and cancer, and we are still standing. It's taken two years of separation, nearly divorcing, hideous Tinder experiences, lots of marriage counseling, a hell of a lot of effort on both sides, and cancer to make us both realize no marriage is perfect. We've come to realize what we have really is worth fighting for, she added in her column for The Sun. Deborah recently revealed she doesn't know how long she has left. As she has moved to hospice at home care. She explained she is too weak to move her legs, and her loved ones must carry her everywhere, including to the toilet. Appearing on BBC Radio 5 Live, the star bravely spoke about the things that are giving her peace as she spends her last days at home.